and this one, we got middleweights, and one of them is the cousin, as you said in the opening, of Money Mayweather, Floyd Mayweather. It is Kenneth Sims Jr., who actually was offered a contract by Money Mayweather, and he said, hey, cuz, I love you, but this is not the kind of contract I'm looking for. I, I want to see if I could do better. And he has been with a few other promoters. He was with Matchroom, worked through the Matchroom contract. He was with Don King for a short time. And now he is fighting here for Boxing Insider and promoter Larry Goldberg. And I feel that he's making a good move by coming over to Larry Goldberg for this fight. I, I agree. Jerry, he is 22 and 1 with 20 of his victories coming by way of knockout. So I am, I'm just looking forward to this fight. Packed crowd here tonight at Sony Hall in the heart of New York City. You know, this Kenny Sims had one heck of an amateur career. I believe he had over 200 bouts during as an amateur, winning most of them. Something like 188 of those wins were by, 100, I think it was 188 wins, most of them by knockout. We'll see tonight also if he's Randy. a puncher that his professional record says it is. Let's get this one started. He also medaled in the Olympics. Uh, trials. So right. Ladies and gentlemen, our next contest players. here at Holiday Fight Night brought to you by Boxing Insider takes place inside of eight rounds in the middleweight division. About to make his way to the blue corner for this bout, here is Antonio Todd. And Antonio weighed in at yesterday's weigh-in at 159.2. He's 28 years old, stands six feet even. Got a pro record of 14 and six. Eight of those 14 victories have come by way of knockout. He fights out of Atlanta. He was born and raised in Atlanta. And he also won his first five fights as a pro. And you know, most of the fights that he has fought have been in the Atlanta area. It's funny, on his record, he has a victory over a guy named Arsenio, Arsenio Hall. Hall. <laughs> and it was in South Carolina where they have basically no commission whatsoever. So I think somebody came in and just used the name Arsenio Hall. And now, ladies and gentlemen, his opponent approaching the red corner. Here is Anthony Sims. Here comes the cousin of Money Mayweather. He stands fit six feet one. He weighed in yesterday at 158.4. 27 years old, actually comes from Plainfield, Indiana. And he now fights out of Los Angeles, California. 22 and one with 20 of his fights ending in knockouts. Well, you know, it's a great story about him not going with Floyd Mayweather. You know, maybe it's a personality thing. Maybe he wants to run his own show. Uh, you know, I, I respect him for that. Ladies and gentlemen, this middleweight contest takes place inside of eight rounds. The referee in charge of the action is Sean Clark. Our ringside judges are John McKay, Robert Perez, and Marcel Varela. Introducing first, competing out of the blue corner, from Atlanta, Georgia, standing six feet tall, weighing in at 159.2 pounds. Ladies and gentlemen, here is Antonio Primo Todd. Mr. Todd puts his record of 14 and six with eight knockouts against his opponent competing out of the red corner. His opponent is from Los Angeles, California. Standing six feet, one inch tall, 
weighing in at 158.4 pounds and entering this bout with a record of 22 and 1. 20 of his 22 victories by way of knockout. Here is the magician, Anthony Sims. Now, Anthony Sims looks in great now, shape. He's a well-conditioned kid. His body is, is warmed up. And uh, I think he's got all the confidence in the world in him right now. Jerry, is this the toughest part of a fight all right, for a guy right, John, right before the bell? No punches have like landed. You're wondering Texas about your opponent. Time. Is this Touch where the up. real nerves come in? Well, your, your butterflies are going because you've got a couple of different plans. You've watched them a little bit, and you're waiting for that bell to see which, uh, which will work for you. And obviously, you start out with the jab and try and find the openings along the way. But we see a lot of life in uh, Mr. Sims over there. 22 and 1 with 20 knockouts. And we'll see how fast Ant Anthony Sims comes flying out of the corner. Constant pressure. You're going to see him. He's very, very athletic. You know, the only time he lost, it was on a very close decision to Romare Alexis Angulo back in January of 2020 in Miami Beach. It was a split decision. Uh, great experience for him in that loss. See, it's just like kind of a feel out round. And, uh, you know, we, we, you know it's, we see Todd. He's giving me a little bit of Floyd Mayweather, you know, body shift. Well, he's going to do a lot of, he is a guy who does a lot of body rolls. Got to realize, a lot of fighters today absolutely idolize the cousin of Sims. Floyd Mayweather. Floyd Mayweather. They idolize him and they copy his style. But not everybody can do what Mayweather did. No, now you see how Sims is trying to work his way in. He's working the body. Greatest thing in the world. Drop them, get those hands to come down, and then turn it over, put him to sleep. I mean, uh... Anthony Sims has won his last two fights, but his last fight came back a year ago. He has been out of the ring for one year, so you might see some rust on him. He fought at the Armory in Minneapolis, where he won on a third-round stoppage over Matty Woods. Well, I think he's looking very good tonight. I mean, he's getting hit tapping. Hey, listen, Antonio Todd's jab is working very well. But I don't think, I don't think we've really seen Anthony Sims open up at all yet. He just... Figuring it out, figuring the guy, getting his distance. We talked about the rust that may be on Anthony Sims, not on Todd, because he hasn't been off for a year. He actually fought three weeks ago, wow. and he won on a sixth round TKO over Larry Smith in Atlanta, Georgia. Well, I don't see any quitting him. So I think he's coming here to win this fight. He's got a great jab. causing some problems for uh, Anthony Sims. And Antonio Todd, again, he weighed in at 159 and a quarter. Sims, 158 and a half. Jerry, I like some of that defense, that daring defense, dropping his left hand, Sims is dropping the hand, showing his chin. He landed a couple of stiff jabs there to the chin of Todd. He is, I mean, they're both doing a great job with uh, working it out, seeing who's uh, going to open up first. Good, good first round, Manny. Interesting, very interesting first round. As a matter of fact, I might give that round to Todd. Oh, you think so? Okay. You are our official, unofficial scorer here tonight.
Here are the rules of the New York State Athletic Commission. There is no standing A count, no three knockdown rule. There is no saving by the bell in any round, and only the referee or the doctor can stop the fight. I mean, he, these two guys, right, they've gone to get a lot of bouts. They've gone the distance before. They've sparred a lot. These guys are going to start picking up. I think Sims is going to start picking it up right now. Nice body shot by Sims. He's finding his range. See, he's trying to move himself in, see where he can start to land punches from. Antonio Todd, when he just jabbed there, Jerry, did you see he lifted his chin straight up in the air? Listen, and I love him, Mr. Goldberg's putting on some great fights, some great bouts. This is an interesting one, because I really want to see much more of Anthony Sim. We've been hearing a lot about him, and he's been looking for his arrival, and his time is now. No, usually you get them to quiet down in the corner, a little bit loud in the corner. Of, uh, this is a very tough commission with that because if you get too boisterous in the corner, they've got corner inspectors here that the corner is told, keep it down, especially if they start getting, uh, using some pretty salty language. But I mean, it's not allowed. They do that yesterday or the day before they even let the guys in the corner know that, right? Mm -hmm. It's not the last moment, so this is working out to be a little bit of a good fight. They're, they're finding their way in. I like Sims is uh, working the body. And listen, Antonio Todd is uh, 14 and 6, but that doesn't say much as far as we're seeing right now. I like the defense on, on Todd. Not much of an offense. The jab there, he's kind of pushing it out there, not really throwing with bad intentions. He actually did there. Yeah. Nice uh, combination there by uh, Anthony Sims. That nice combination by Sims. Right, right before that, there was a light combination by Todd that kind of kept Sims a little bit oh, off balance. Nice right hand by Antonio Todd. Jerry, that was the first time I think that he really let a punch go. And landed solid in. And listen, Sims took it very well. And Todd taking the fight right now to Sims. Misses with a right hand. There's the bell. And round number two. This one's scheduled for eight. One of our lovely boxing insider round card girls. There we're looking into the corner of Sims and some action from last round. There we go, looking good. And we see, see Sims connected and then the right hand of Todd comes in and catches him solid. Did Very you see close Sims saying, Sims is going, come on, come on. Close, <laughs> close rounds. Listen, um, Antonio Todd is coming out of the corner, a pretty confident guy right now. He's in the fight. It's round number three. Nice left hook. These are Sims. middleweights. The man in the white trunks with the red waistband, Antonio Todd. And his opponent is Anthony Sims Jr. out of Indianapolis, Indiana. Sims, 22 and one. Todd, 14 and six. Well, you'd like to see maybe an, an Anthony Sims to start to pick it up. Nice combinations from both these guys. One, two landed on both of them. Jerry, 
that was that a a block right hand? It was a block. It, it yeah, sounded it good. It looked good, but uh, he, he caught the shot. It was glove. So you wonder if the judges say, mm, maybe a judge on the other side of the ring didn't see that it was blocked. He said, wow, that's the best shot of the fight. Nice little wide, wide hook there, not too good. See, I see Ant Antonio Todd is, you know, frustrating Anthony Simmons right now. See, when here's where the world class guys start to take over. They start to pick it up, and they start to land combinations. Not just one or two shots, but four, five, and six shots. And we haven't seen it yet today from these two guys. So it's still an interesting fight, though. Anthony Sims, a little bit taller, 6'1 to 6. And just has a little bit more of a reach advantage. You saw Todd go behind the back there with a shot, like a kidney shot. Sean Clark missed that one. Jerry, I know both you and I, for years, when we talk about guys in close with the rabbit punching, yeah. this commission doesn't tolerate rabbit yeah. punching. Well, it's, it's very dangerous to hit somebody behind the head like that. I think they every should. commission. Mm -hmm. I know Larry Hazard from Jersey does. Jack Reese. If, if he has to say it himself, California, Jack Reese, one of the very best out there. He does it. Cal uh, Nevada does it. Some of the best commissions in the country. Mm -hmm. But there are other ones who let the fighters get away with the mm -hmm. rabbit punch. See, I don't see why they're throwing one or two punches at a time. It's, it's already, uh, you know, we're in the third round. you got to start to pick it up now. There's only eight-round fight. Here's the time I'll tell you that at this point in the fight, you got to pick it up because it is only eight rounds. Round number three. It in the books, and I'm going to give you a moment to uh, mark your scorecard, and then we're going to come at you and see how you have it. Round number four coming up. This one is scheduled for eight rounds, and after three, Jerry, how do you have it scored? I have it uh, 29 Anthony Sims and um, 28. 29, 28 for Anthony Sims. So let me peeking over your scorecard. You gave round number one to Todd. I did. And then you gave two and three to Anthony Sims. Yeah, I think he lands in more solid shots. A little more busy. He's working his way in. But really, you know, this is time to pick it up now. Fourth round. This is the second fight here on the professional level for new promoter Larry Goldberg who's making himself quite a name in boxing and certainly around the New York area where everybody is ringing his phone hey you just ran a fight next month last month you won now you got a couple more coming up early in the year can I be on your card can I be on your card fighters love him fighters love him I, I said to Larry isn't it amazing how fast you become very popular he's a great guy too you know he's a great guy his family's here his father's here his friends come to support him so you see, I'm, I'm seeing Sims start to really work on the body. He's throwing some more punches, right. picking it up a little bit. Now, Jerry, and you, you have to. You just saw Sims land a right hand to the small of the back. Yeah. But in that case, when he was going to throw the body shot, Todd actually turned away from him, giving him the back. So that is really, yes, it was a foul blow, but it wasn't intentional right. by any means. Right. Todd brought that on himself. And Sims also just landed a very good left hook on the chin. Well, it's time to pick it up. Let's get to work. You know what I mean? Nice body jab. Whoa, nice right hand by Anton Anthony Sims. That might have been Sims' best right hand of the fight, and Todd took it very well. You know, I was telling the guys, when you hit a guy with a shot, you, you shake him up a little bit. Give yourself 30 seconds. Open up. See what you can do. Uh, maybe you can get him out of there. Listen, Todd can fight. His biggest pro win 
came last January 22nd when he won a 10-round majority decision over Hugo Centennial Jr., who came into that fight with a 28-3-1 and record. Wow. So, I mean, Todd can fight, and you can see it here sometimes. Sometimes he gets a little bit lazy, lays his punches out there, but when he moves those hands in combinations, Sims knows he's in with a very good opponent. Missed those shots. The streak with you. Whoa, nice hook from both of them. Jerry, you know a little something about left hooks. That left hook looked like he really didn't have much on it, that he kind of reached out, it was thrown a little bit longer. Had he stepped into it more, got a little bit closer and turned more, it would have been more effective. Yeah, and, and I thought that both of them threw, threw two hooks, but I think that Sims overall was a better hook. But they're picking up the pace here. So is Todd. And it's funny, you know, we talked about Todd's best win against a guy who was 28-3 and one. His very last fight came wow. a couple weeks ago against a guy who was 13 and 51. So I mean, he's not against fighting anybody. He just wants an opponent in there. He doesn't care if they're 13 and 15, one or 28 and three. Well, yeah, and he's, they're probably trying to keep him busy. Larry Smith was 13, 51 and two. He should make your. Uh, <laughs> You're, your, uh, what do you call it? Loser of the month. <laughs> yeah, Randy and I are on Sirius XM, channel 156, every Monday, every Friday from 12 to 2 p.m. And we put on a great show. We talk all about the fights and uh, the great um, shows we've been having and are going to have yep. following for, for 2000. 23. I'll throw it again every Monday, every Friday on Sirius XM, channel 156 from noon until 2 p.m. Eastern Time at the fights. With me, Randy G, the commission, gentleman Jerry Cooney. And we are moving. We're past the midpoint of this fight. Jerry, just watching this fight now, do you think we're going to get eight rounds out of it, a full eight rounds? Or do you think there's going to be a sudden stoppage somewhere? I, I mean, listen, right now these two guys are very evenly matched, e even though the record doesn't show that. But, uh, you know, who wants it more? Who's going to put the extra effort in? That's a nice jab from uh, Sims. And an over, overhand right there. Jerry, this is quite a cozy room it's for boxing. I mean, they hold somewhere seven, 750, 800 people. I do not see a vacant space in this room. No. Um, big fans come support the game. And, uh, and the fights, listen, the first two fights so far have been great fights compared to, uh, and, you know, we're going to see some really good fights later and on. We're going to see... Uh, Andy Dominguez, I love to see that kid fight. What One a bunch of, of fans. the prospects of the year. Nice right hand by Sims. Then he had to get away from a couple of jabs. Todd is starting to really pick it up with that jab. He's throwing it more, not landing it a lot, but he's throwing it. And when he does throw it, Sims stays on defense. There he moved away, so a little bit of a, a, a shoulder roll. And remember, he is a cousin of Money Mayweather. You know, I see him. He's landing one good shot. He's not following through. One of those shots was... Here he comes right. now. He's coming on. Got three right hands, four right hands by Sims. Trying to really make a brawl out of it now. I think he heard me. A couple of nice body shots in there. Sean Clark breaks him up. Nice right hand by Sims. He's putting the pressure on him. Another right hand. Todd is not an inside fighter. Well, nice fighter. left hook from Sims. Todd is hurt right now. And there's 45 seconds remaining in this round, round number five. That was, uh, could have been behind the head from uh, Sims. Nice combo. Sims doing his best to work his way in. 30 seconds to go in this round. This is scheduled for eights. Anthony Sims Jr. against Antonio Todd. These guys are middleweights. And it looks to me that Antonio Todd is starting to slow down a little bit. Oh, 
see right there, I think that was a, to me, that looked like a rabbit punch. Mm -hmm. I agree. See, I've heard a lot of referees in the dressing room over the years, and I, I like this. And you fans have all heard when the referee, and take a look. That was a nice You just good saw hook. that chop. Nice right that hand. A, that was good. That was a good hook. He got hurt there a little bit. And Listen, that's why Antonio Todd, his record is 14 and 6. Maybe he tires down the stretch. And uh, whereas, you know, Anthony Sims is really serious about his career. We don't know yet. Right. Now, you fans have heard in the center of the ring when the referee first brings the fighters together. He says, I gave you guys the instructions in the dressing room. I like the trunks over here. I like them over here. Are there any questions? And you could ask a question if you want. But what they do in the dressing room, they go over every single oh, yeah. rule of them. And I have heard, and I do like this, they say, gentlemen, I am not going to tell you, this is your first, second, and third warning right here. No rabbit punching. Right, it, and you know, we, we had the pleasure of being with uh, referee uh, Jack Reese, and he took us behind the dress rooms, and yes. we saw everything that went on. It was a great time. And of course, in all my years as commissioner in New York, and you as top heavyweight contender, you know what went on with the referees coming back and saying, Hello, Mr. Cooney. I'm going to be your referee tonight. And they go over every single thing that could possibly happen. The clinching of, and stopping when the referee says stop. Well, you know, you make me feel bad because you were so hard on me all those years. <laughs> 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 and, we, and listen, we see Sims really picking it up. He's moving his feet. He feels excited. The other kid's slowing down, backing up. This is round number six, scheduled for eight. We got two minutes to go here in round number six. We have a little problem with Sims' knee. He keeps touching his knee. I don't know what that's about. And keep in mind, we still have an eight-round bantamweight matchup between a female by the name of Sulem Urbina. Very talented young lady, very personable. And we're gonna hope to get her over here after her fight, win, lose, or draw. And she's going up against a young lady who's five and six out of New Orleans, Louisiana. And Jerry, there are good fighters with bad records and bad fighters with good records. And is Smith is one of those people, a good fighter with a bad record. And sometimes you lose split, split, uh, split second you know, decisions that right. you really were in the fight the whole time. Yeah, well, her story is, and we'll get to this in a little while when those females come up, but she is much better than her five and six record. Now I think you're gonna see it when she is in there in just a little while with Sulem Urbina. You can also see when these guys come in as the opponent, it's a tough job they got to work through and, and take control. It feels to me that uh, Antonio Todd is kind of getting broken down by uh, Sims, and Anthony Sims. Looks to me like Sims is doing everything he can to land that right hand and get Todd out of there, but Todd is hanging in there. I like that jab right now. Body jab, head jab. But he's not Todd. really landing really well. He's trying to keep him away. He's trying to get in there, but Sims has really got his number. Nice right hand there again. Behind the head again. He's claiming his was behind the head. Yeah, so Good there man. we go. End of round number six. We got two more. We got six more minutes to go. Will it go the distance? Round number seven coming up. Boxing Insider Promotions. This is their second pro fight here at Sony Hall. And promoter Larry Goldberg and his staff have done just an amazing job. And you see the referee is giving him a talk. It could be from those punches behind the head.
Referee Sean Clark, yes, was in there. And he was motioning to the back of the head. And yes, he saw that. It's round number seven, scheduled for eight. These guys are middleweights. Anthony Sims, 22 and one against Antonio Todd. Nice left hook. 14 and six, eight knockouts. Sims is throwing some good bombs right now. Defense is good. Nice right hand to the body. You know, Jerry, it's funny, our statistician who does such a great job helping us out with all these stats and everything, one of the stats he sent me on uh, Antonio Todd, and I had to watch it on YouTube, some of his fights, and our statistician, Charles J, wrote, Todd paused a bit with the jab, but he's, he's calm, cool, and patient, and everything that Charles J told us here we see it. He paused with the jab sometimes, and sometimes he lets it go. Yeah, but you see also, he doesn't, he, he's, not, he's, he's not letting the gun go. He's, he's waiting, he's patient, and that, I would say, is lack of training really uh, takes that because he's in the fight, and I think he's just getting tired, and uh, obviously uh, Anthony Sims is picking up the pressure. Nice five-punch combination here from Sims. We're on the midpoint of round number seven. This one's scheduled for eight. They're all scheduled for eight rounds tonight. No tens tonight, no fours, no sixes, no twelves, hey, all eights. Mr. Goldberg is moving up the ladder. He's getting some good fighters in here, and I'm sure he's going to have uh, opportunities to help them to grow. It kind of hurt my feelings, because I think he thinks that we don't remember the eights and the tens and the twelves and the sixes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I'm going to make everything eight rounds tonight. <laughs> Under one minute to go, round number seven. Good job. Kenny Smith, uh, Kenny Sims, in the white trunks with the black band, and Antonio Todd. White Trump's red man. That would be Maroon. I got just a shutout here for uh, Anthony Simmons so far. Seven rounds in the books. So, Jerry, is it a runaway on your scorecard? I, I got it. I got it. He, Anthony Simmons okay, every round. lost the first round. He's won every round since. So we shall see if Jerry Cooney is going to be strength. right with those judges. Well, I mean, obviously, they could call one or two rounds for Todd, but I didn't see that he did enough. You know, Sims has quite a story. He was born in Plainfield, Indiana. And he grew up with his family in the Indianapolis area. And his father, Jerry, died when he was six years old. And it really hit him very hard. And he went through a long period of emotional distress until some relatives got him into the local boxing gym where he was able to work out a lot of that stress. Frustration, that's, yeah, that loss. Okay, right, Sims is picking it up again. Final round. Nice right hand. Sims doesn't want this going to a decision. Well, or at least he wants to win the last round, make sure. Nice combination. He's throwing a lot more punches. The only loss on Sims' record, and right there, Sean Clark telling him, come on. Watch the rough stuff, guys. Headbutt. He, uh, 
Todd was was butted and he's got a he's bleeding out of his uh, left eye. Nice right hand by Sims again. You could never know exactly how the judges are scoring it, and that happened in his only loss back in January of 2020, when Sims lost a split decision. And I mentioned this earlier to the veteran Romare Alexis Angulo in Miami. It's that he just didn't throw enough punches. He was a little bit too defensive. Tonight, can't say that he hasn't thrown punches. And on your scorecard, Jerry, he's way in the lead. He is. And he's got uh, Antonio Todd is cut over that left eye. And uh, that just makes Anthony Sims feel a little stronger and want to try and keep landing that shot on him to get him to quit. Nice combination. Knockout. Wow. Nice right hand left hook by Sims. Sims looking for that right hand. Every time he's in close, right like that. He takes pot shots with it. Bad shot behind the head. I don't like that. Nice hook, nice right hand by Sims. He's pulling away. Forty-five seconds remaining in the fight. Nice right hand by Todd. A little too late, much too late. to uh, Todd, he's trying right to the end. All right. Right up to the end. And the three judges mark their scorecards, make it to four judges. The three who count here, John McKay, Robert Perez, and who else we got in there? We got Marcel Varela. They're marking their scorecard, as is our own judge here on Boxing Insider Promotions. Gentlemen, Jerry Cooney. Jerry, on my unofficial card, I got a 79-73. I got 74. 79. 74. No, 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 let me see. No, no I got much bigger. Look at that. I got uh, 79 for Sims, and I got 9. Who do you Okay. Nine. There we go. Well, we do know, we do believe anyway, that Sims has won seven of the rounds in this fight. Maybe he lost the first round in a more or less feeling out first round. But after that, he began picking it up, did his best for a knockout victory. Couldn't get it over the very slick, I'm not going to say very talented, but yet very slick. Antonio Todd. Comedy Point Night, offered by BoxingInsider.com. So let's see if Anthony Sims will win his 23rd fight tonight, which I think he will. And if Antonio Todd will lose for the seventh time. And Sims walks across the ring and has some words with Todd. They shake each other's hand and hug each other. Real sportsmanship there. Tough way to make a living for Antonio Todd. Great job, great fights. That guy's a real jerk. Here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, after eight grueling rounds, we go to the ringside judges' scorecards. Judge Robert Perez scores this bout 79-73.
and Judge Jean McKay and Marcel Varela scored about 80 to 72 right, right? in favor of the winner by way of unanimous decision, the magician Anthony Sims.